This first presentation was made to the Rotary Club of Sudbury in February of 2020. And we thought you'd like to see it here on our website, prepared for anyone who's interested in learning about the Mineral Lake Restoration Group and Mineral Lake itself. This is our story, past, present, and future. The Mineral Lake Group was founded in 1979 by former alderman Ted Nicholson, and it was the first lake stewardship group to be formed in Sudbury. From the Ramsey Lake watershed plan, it was a consultant's report that was prepared for the city back in 1991. They quoted the setting of the Mineral Lake community as remarkable, with some of the most far reaching opportunities and could be a model for the future. They went on to say there's keen local interest and effort in improving the area and local features. Co-incorporated in 1990 and obtaining charitable status in 1998, the objectives of the Mineral Lake Restoration Group are pretty basic. To promote the restoration of Mineral Lake itself to an aesthetically pleasing and recreational useful body of water. And to develop the Mineral Lake area in the city of Sudbury as part of the leisure plan for Sudbury, providing a healthy environment for the citizens of the area. And uh, according to our environmental charitable status, we give certain priorities. Nature, habitat, conservation comes up with 30%, another 30% for general environmental protection, recycling and that, and 40% for community recreational facilities and trails. And we have achieved recognition from various sources, including the Chamber of Commerce in 1996, a Community Enhancement Award for our Mineral Lake Waterfront and Hilltop Parks. They were developed along Bancroft Drive, Melview Avenue and Mineral Lake Place and maintained by the Mineral Lake Restoration Group. This is the entrance to the Bancroft Drive Waterfront Park, just across from the Carmichael Arena and the Skateboard Park. So here we are, Mineral Lake. And uh, oh, just a while back, we had a sign or a name painted on a, a large boulder along the side of the road, which is, uh, which is right here. And the lake is right here. This is a little fishing stand right here. The kids often fish right off of here. And this is the flower bed from this particular area uh, looking across the lake. There's the water view apartments right over here. And the trail plans, we're proud of them, which we developed. The Blueberry Hill behind the Carmichael Arena and the Oak Forest behind St. Jean's School. Here's Mineral Lake. Here's the Oak Forest Lookout Trail and the Blueberry Hill Trail going around here. And the uh, trails are well, are well used. It's a great little walk. And of course you can pick blueberries in the season. Here we are on Blueberry Hill. This is the gazebo at the top of Blueberry Hill. And this is looking out. This is a little further on from the gazebo, even a little further up. You can see the gazebo. There's folks at the gazebo. This is a gazebo looking over Ramsey Lake. Or the Middle Lake right here and Ramsey Lake right here. This is the trail guide right here. And uh, every year we have people co turn out. Now, <laughs> 2019, we had over 100 participants. Dr. Peter Beckett has been a regular tour guide. Dr. Beckett, of course, responsible for much of the regraining, uh, the regreening uh, throughout the Sudbury area. What a gang up into the Oak Forest in the fall. We're proud of our fountain as the Middle Lake Millennium Fountain and uh, a lot of uh, people involved in establishing the fountain, which was put in the year 2000 and helps to aerate the lake as well. It's a, it's a, it's, it's a real attraction. As a matter of fact, it's one of the few fountains we have in the Sudbury area. Also, Middle Lake Place, the former school, St. Jean's School, now home of Meals on Wheels. Sudbury Minor Hockey is in there, our children, our future, Rainbow Roots. Now the gym and two classrooms are for public use. This is a great community uh, building and uh, can serve as a model for other schools uh, throughout Greater Sudbury that are no longer used for education. It can be put to public use. 
Now the Middle Lake Off-Leash Dog Park was one of our uh, initiatives on 2nd Avenue, the first one in the city and, uh, and very popular. And of course the skateboard park at Carmichael Arena, we're uh, proud of that as well too, much used. And uh, not just skateboard parks, as you can see here, uh, a lot use these small bicycles as well too, and scooters. And the community gardens involved in establishing the community gardens at North Lake Place and also at 2nd Avenue as well. Now Portage Beach on Ramsey Lake, it's uh, just down uh, Portage Street. And now Portage actually connects, it's the only street in Greater Sudbury that connects two lakes, that's why it's called Portage. Uh, Mineral on one side and Ramsey on the other. And it did have uh, sort of rickety wooden stairs and we managed to uh, work with the city and have steel stairs put in down to this nice beach area. And the first bike lanes in the city and the route around Ramsey Lake were developed by the Ramsey Lake Middle Lake Restoration Group in conjunction with the Middle Lake Can. And now we have bike lanes and routes on many city streets. We're catching up to many communities and becoming truly a bike friendly city. So here, let's take an overview here. I mean, Middle Lake is not a large lake in comparison, of course, to uh, Ramsey Lake here, or but still about the same size as Bethel. Here's Nepawan Lake and Bennett Lake, a small lake down here, and Lake Laurentian down here. And this is the general watershed right around here. So everything, and this is what happens. We see the roadways around here and down here. And uh, these are pretty heavily salted for safety reasons during, during the winter, of course. And where's that salt go? Into the lake. That, that's sort of a problem we have to look at. Sudbury was a railway town before coming a, a lumber center and then a mining camp, as we know. The tracks were first laid in what is now Howie Drive. And this is a plaque that's on a, a large boulder along Howie Drive. And uh, it was a year 125 project by the Mineral Lake Restoration Group and the Community Action Network. Mineral Lake itself, here we see it. This is the, just taking a closer look here. This is uh, Mineral Lake Place, the former St. Jean School. Here we have the arena. There's some water view apartments up here. We have the Mineral Lake Community Center is down here, uh, which is now being used by the Sudbury Arts Group. And uh, this area here is, on uh, this area, this is the, the, the waterfront uh, boardwalk along here. And we have the little fishing uh, station down here. And uh, there is an outlet from Mineral Lake that goes down through and ends, ends up in in Ramsey Lake. So everything that's in Middle Lake eventually ends up in Ramsey Lake. So that's a, a, another concern when you're talking about pollution because our salt level in Middle is quite a bit higher than it is in Ramsey, but Ramsey still has a high salt level and uh, it's something that's being looked at right now by the Sudbury uh, Ramsey Lake sub watershed study looking at salt levels. There's a lumber mill similar to this one operated on the shores of Middle Lake for between 20 and 30 years with wood waste deposited in the lake and some of it is still there and it's formed a sort of a mushy bottom. So it's uh, not a great lake uh, if you're wading into it uh, and of course with all the geese and the ducks uh, probably the reason why most people just take a short walk down Portage and swim in Lake Ramsey and there's uh, there's no power boats allowed on Mineral Lake because it is part of a conservation area. And we've had concerns over the years, as yours truly, expressing some concerns about Mineral Lake in danger, the water quality deteriorating. It's a small lake, it's had a lot of stresses over the years, and we really have to keep at it uh, to make sure that it remains a viable lake for the enjoyment of all in the community. We do a lot of uh, water quality and aquatic species survey work. Uh, to determine the condition of the lake. We can see all the bulrushes or cattails as they're called along here. And uh, there's a lot of wildlife in Middle Lake, a lot of muskrats and beavers. And there's ducks, of course, and, and geese and uh, loons even, and turtles and uh, you name it. Uh, the Freshwater Ecology Unit of Laurentian University did a survey, found out there is something like 300,000 plus fish in Middle Lake. Interestingly enough, there's no minnows in Middle Lake because minnows are a particular species and they were fished out a long time ago by those who uh, 
who uh, were collecting them for bait. In 2019, we did an invasive aquatic species assessment. Jan Lindquist and Brad Bowman, who are two scientists who have worked for the Mineral Lake Restoration Group as volunteers over many years, and they surveyed these particular areas along here to determine just where uh, some uh, aquatic species that are foreign to our area may have established themselves and may have to be uh, removed. We have some uh, purple loose strife, uh, those cattails, as we mentioned. And uh, in certain areas, oh, just, oh, just by the way, this is uh, the, the drain coming down from uh, the St. Jean sewer, it was named after St. Jean's School, now Mineral Lake Place, empties into the lake. And this is the deposits that have been put into the lake over the years. Now there's storm retention pond was established at Mineral Lake Place uh, about two years ago, but there's still debris in the lake, which is a concern uh, for fish populations because it uh, overflows the, uh, the, the breeding areas for the fish. That's something we're working with the city to have removed. Now there's a significant stand of these tall grasses that are growing at the north end of the uh, boardwalk here. And uh, this is something that is of real concern because these high uh, grasses actually obstruct the view of the lake, plus they crowd out all native species and, they, and they're not too friendly to wildlife as well either. So the city's looking at uh, what can be done. Other communities have actually hired of uh, re removal experts to come in and, uh, and uh, to take care of these weeds. So cattail dominated, there's small isolated pockets as we mentioned, the purple loose strife, and uh, there's some uh, mana grass, uh, which I'm not exactly sure what that is to tell you the truth, but it's been discovered, but it is native, so there's no problem with it being invasive. And there's some common aquatic species that are present as well too. Now here we have that little fishing which this is on Bellevue Avenue, and it's a popular spot for folks to come along and just cast a line in. So that's it, we've taken a look, just a very brief history of Mineral Lake. There's more on the website, minnowlake.ca. And uh, we wanna thank you all for taking the time to, uh, to view this, uh, this presentation and to, uh, and to be involved with us. Thank you very much.